morning everybody it is margaret texas gal treasures and i am in a different spot but i wanted to do a quick intro to this video because i'll be behind the scenes for most of it in this video i'll be sharing things that i'm looking for when i'm out at garage sales and thrift stores as far as jewelry goes so apologies in advance if some of the footage is a bit bouncy because i'm going through some of the trays and things like that at goodwill and also to my back workroom area as you can see i'm still working on that so uh, I'm going to go behind the scenes now and narrate some of the things that I'm looking at and my thought process as I am choosing jewelry to buy to resell. All right. Thanks so much, guys. So first thing when I walk into the thrift stores, I take a look at the jewelry case. I give it a good once over to see if there are any jars or if there's anything that jumps out at me straight away when I'm looking into the trays. And then once I start having them bring the trays out, I start really taking a look at like this, the um, finishings to see if they look like they're vintage or to see if I see any marks on them. And then I'll take a look for any kind of necklaces like these ones, if there are any stones that look like they are real stones, sometimes jade. Um, this was a leather necklace I was looking at because it just looked kind of cool, different, um, and let's see, yeah, I liked that. I don't think I end up, I don't think I end up buying that one, though. And then, again, over here, I start looking at earrings and necklaces to see if there are, the backings look like they're real. This was pretty cool, but I couldn't make up my mind as to whether or not it was vintage. I think I decided that it wasn't, but the the beads looked like they might be vintage but then when you look at the clasp maybe not so much I'm going kind of quickly I'll have to take note to go slower oh and then I picked those up because I thought oh wouldn't that be cool if they were jade but when I clinked them together they were plastic and they were on this you know stretchy band so like I oh, don't know they're just plastic beads uh, let's see I'm looking at the fixture there I always call them fixtures but the clasp because I like to see if I see any markings or any makers marks names that sort of thing So I'm looking at some jewelry here. I like I like these Southwest looking earrings. Um, I also look for figural things like those fish would might have been something cool. Things that have animals because I know there are people that collect certain animals. So uh, if those fish maybe hadn't been missing some stones, I might have picked them up, uh, but I didn't. And let's see here. I'm looking again for yeah makers marks. Anything that looks like might be precious metal or real you know silver or gold or has a a name so i kind of like those and then i'm looking at these they look kind of coppery brassy you know metallic and then with these bangles i'm looking at like this one looks like it's really well made it's got wood it's got metal it's got maybe plastic and so i did end up getting that one i've got a bunch of wood stuff that i'm lighting up so for like a vegan jewelry lot so, and also things like this with words on it. Some people really like quotes and Bible verses and things like uh, of that nature. I keep saying things like that. And then this I did get because it's got a mod look. And so that would, you know, play to that crowd. I thought about getting that red with polka dot, but I don't think I did. All right. So with tax, I spent $21.04, bought six items. And let me show you what I got. Um, I showed the trays that, that were in there, but these are the ones I chose. So I got this, um, it's a bit of heavy bracelet. It's not silver. Um, I made sure both the stones were there. And um, I didn't see any markings on the inside. It was a buck ninety nine, but I think easily I can put at, at least 15, between 15 and $20 on that. I will look um, more carefully. And then this one is kind of cool. It's just like metal. I think this is plastic in there. I'll have to look a little closer. I'm pretty sure it's plastic. Um, but that kind of looks like wood. I'll have to look a bit closer. Um, but it's this woven Native American sort of design in metal. And it was 99 cents. So this one also, I don't see any marks. But this one, I mean, I feel pretty comfortable putting it closer to the $24.99 mark. Um, I may be dreaming. I'll have to see what else is out there. I'm trying to see. It looks like wood, doesn't it? It does. It has like it has like a wood grain to it. So it looks like 
plastic, I don't think it's, no, it's not bone. Um, like plastic, metal, and wood to create this woven design. Isn't that cool? Um, so 99 cents on that one. This one was 99 cents, and that was just fun with these stars on it. Kind of mod, kind of just, I don't know, rainbow brightish sort of. Um, so that was 99 cents. I'm thinking at least $14.99 I'll put on that. And then this one, I'm pretty sure I have a couple more like this that I can lot up with it. Um, it was 49 cents, but even if I sold it alone, I'd probably put 9.99 on it. We'll see. And then these earrings I picked up. Uh oh, hang on. Did I make a boo boo? Darn it. I did. I made a boo boo. Okay, so I try to inspect them real carefully to make sure they're not broken or missing pieces, but this one is missing a feather. So what I may do? Gosh, I don't know. I may take off the feather from this one and try to sell them like that. But I just thought, okay, they're cool. You know, oh, darn it. So yeah, I try to make sure that I don't get any that are broken like that. Um, but yeah, I may have to just, tell me what you think. Uh, do I take off this one and try to sell it so they just have two feathers? But you'll see there's one missing. You know, the buyer. Yeah, it looks kind of weird. All right, oh well, that's a live and learn. Okay, and I did have one jar. It was not spectacular. It was 30% off, so I got it for, what was it, $13.99. I probably would not have bought it for the $19.99, uh, but I definitely think, see this big, tall metal cuff right there? Um, that sort of spans the whole thing. Um, that cuff, I can, you know, probably put up for that, you know, $11.99. Well, it's pretty long, so I might be able to get more for it. So that cuff may make the, the $14 back, um, depending on the condition. And then, you know, there's a few other odds and ends in there that might be good. So we'll just kind of see. I mean, this one was not at all anything spectacular jumping out at me. But you never know. That's the thing. There may be something in there. Well, that's kind of a pretty bracelet. I've sold these multi-row bracelets, this cuff right here with this kind of coral color and gold. I didn't see that. Um, but I've sold some similar to that that were just metal. So that might be okay too. All right, there we go. Because I sold the other one for, I think, $11.99. There's a wooden necklace. Just some other, I mean, yeah, some of it's just like these wooden beads like that. I'm not really, I mean, I guess I haven't listed any, so maybe they sell, but uh, they're not, they don't jump out at me kind of. And this yellow and black one might be kind of cool. We'll see. But yeah, there wasn't a ton, ton that jumped out at me. That's That'll be interesting right there to look at. I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, there might be a few things, and there might not. So that is that one. But yeah, I paid $13.99. And I think, okay, I'll be able to get that. Global and Vine Boho Cheek. Okay, we'll have to look it up. Cool. All right, so I'm going to go check out Salvation Army across the street and see if I can get some footage of the jewelry in there. So right away on the top row, I see these silver or silver tone earrings that look really geometric. I see these checkerboard that are, have this mod, you know, ska look. And down on the bottom, there was a bolo tie. And that looked pretty interesting. And then there were some pieces that are gold in color that were a possibility. And I see down there they have a few jewelry jars, bits and pieces. Their, their jewelry is a bit expensive there. I spent $25.95. The earrings in the Salvation Army are, sorry about my messy car, yuck. Uh, we're a buck ninety-nine. So I got these ones. And I wasn't sure, I didn't have my magnet with me, but the lady, okay, so the lady, when I was checking out, I wasn't sure if they were silver or not, because I didn't have my magnet with me, but she ended up, she had a magnet stuck to the side of the uh, cash register, and so she, she touched them on there, and she's like, well, those aren't real, and I was like, oh, do you have a magnet there? She's like, yep, I like to check things out, I'm like, smart. <laughs> well, anyway, these ones were magnetic, but I thought, oh, they're pretty cool still, I still want to get them, so those I got. Buck ninety nine. I still think I can probably get seventeen or so out of them. And then these ones were not magnetic. Also, just kind of cool abstract um, earrings. So we'll see. I'll have to look at these a little closer. See if I see any marks or anything. 
And then I did get a jar. It was $19.99. It was, it's not, again, it's not an amazing jar. Uh, but this earring, I've sold some earrings like this. If the mate's in there, that'll be about, you know, 14 bucks probably. There was a, these right here. Let's see if I can get it on there. This, the other ones in there, I saw it. And these are like shoe clips, I think. Um, they're marked, so I'll have to double check those. And what else did I see in there? I saw some other stuff that looked okay. Those could be interesting. We'll see. There was a, like this pin. That's really pretty. All the stones are in it. That's nice. There was a cat pin in here, which was like, okay, I'll get it. There's a cat pin. Where did it go? I don't know about that. So those earrings, I can't even see what they are, what they are, but there's some stuff still on cards. And then this bracelet was kind of interesting. It's these metal hearts, but what I liked about it was that it's not stretchy in between. It's got like the metal chain in between. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be silver, but it, you know, it's just a nicer look with the metal chain in there. And then there was some cloisonne. I love cloisonne. Oh, there's the kitties. So you see the back of these kitties are like a yellow kitty and a green kitty on this pin. I can't see the rest of the pin, but it's a little kitty pin. Kind of cute. So there were some other things in here that, I mean, it was just okay. It looked, nothing was jumping out at me. But the more I look at it, the more I'm seeing, oh, maybe it's all right. Maybe there's some stuff. It's all right. Uh, I don't know what that is. So yeah, we'll see. It may be better than I anticipated. And then lots of stuff hiding inside. We shall see. Those are not shoe clips, that's an earring. I saw just the way the clip was, but now I see the stick out of it. Well, that's cool, that's different. Those are different. Cool. All right, better and better. I know I saw the mate in there, where did it go? Oh, there it is, it's in there. There's the mate, okay, cool. So this is a separate trip to the Goodwill and I'm checking out another jar. It's $29.99. I can't remember if it ends up being on sale, but I think I get this jar because I recognize some of the stuff in there. Um, yeah, I do. I get this jar. There must have been something in there that I found. <laughs> and I'm wondering if it was on sale too. So that necklace with the shell, the round discs, I, there was a gold tone bracelet in there that I really liked. Uh, and then a few other things. I, I've already unboxed this one. I think I shared this one in an, an unboxing. And then here's another one at $29.99, which I also did get. It's sitting right here in front of me. I have not unboxed it yet. But again, I, I have to see. I can't remember if I got those. It seems awfully high for me to pay that price. They might have been on sale. But I liked, you know, that skull and crossbones bracelet right there. Because I'm like, oh, I can get 10 on that. And then, let's see, what else do I see in here? The wooden earring is, is meh. Oh, those long, oh, this one. Those rectangular earrings. And then there's like this enamel champagne brooch that looked really cool. I'll have to unbox that one soon for you. All right, so I start looking at some of these earrings to see if I see any maker's marks. Those are kind of cool. Uh, if the price is right, I, could, my, I don't think I got those though. Um, and again, on these hoops and things like that, I look for, I look at the stems. Okay, here's where I realize, oh my gosh, I think these are Kendra Scott. Um, so yeah, these end up being Kendra Scott, which I didn't realize at the moment. I just saw the way they were made, and I thought, okay, they kind of look like they're really well made. They have that look, that same style as Kendra Scott, and later I find the, the mark on them. I do get this little enamel box just because it's adorable. <laughs> I loved it so much. But uh, yeah, I'm going to sell it. I'm not keeping it. Really cute. So here I am realizing, okay, they are marked. They are marked Kendra Scott, which is a really high-end costume jewelry brand. Oh, I got some footage of my competition. <laughs> so here's the tray of the things that I'm getting. They brought out some more stuff in this Native American style. Um, necklace came out. I uh, haven't tested it yet, but I did get that. And then this rattlesnake, I don't know if it's, you know, a cast or a mold, you know, whatever, of these rattlesnake rattles 
on this bracelet. So those were really interesting. And I'll uh, have to share in my ride along the stories that I have of the, the other buyers that were, are hovering around there with me. Um, I have got, I'll show you the jewelry that I got loose. So I picked up this necklace like so. I'll probably do a haul video later now because I'm excited. Uh, and I did, I pulled out my uh, magnet for a couple other pieces, but not for this one. I got this little trinket box that looks like dice. It wasn't missing any of the stones, so I, li I liked that a lot. Opens. I got this funky bracelet. It's made to look like rattlesnake rattles. They're not really rattlesnake rattles, but uh, it's made to look like it. And then this set, this was 99 cents. And then this, it was a buck 99. And they're both marked Kendra Scott. I'm pretty sure that Kendra Scott is faked. Uh, but I was willing to take the chance on it. I, this is what I pulled my magnet out for. So I checked this with my magnet. So I'm going to double check it and see. I mean, what, what drew me to the, the earrings at first was that they looked like really good quality. So I'll, I'll double check those. Yep, and then I got a couple jars. So here's a close-up of the necklace and earrings. You can see the long bar that's got the name Kendra Scott on it, and then the drop chain has the logo, the emblem for Kendra Scott. Frequently they have this style where it's a stone clamped into this frame. Um, and so yeah, they ended up being real, and I sold them pretty quickly. These are some items that I picked up at a garage sale. One of them is a charm bracelet with different um, monuments on them. I just thought it was cool. A little enamel apple, some earrings that are, uh, what are those things called? Dream catchers, some sailboats with little abalone shell um, sails. Little, I, I think these are gold. I have to go back and double check the uh, stars. They're like little girl earrings. I, I can't remember for sure if they were gold or not. This is a big statement ring, and then these were just funky. And I think I paid just a couple of bucks at um, Jenny's garage sale for these. I can't remember now. I'll have to go back and I'm sure I did a haul video with them. Um, but my, my gut is telling me I think I paid about three or four bucks for all of that right there. So as a takeaway, the things I generally look for are... The clasps to see if they look vintage. I look for any markings to see if I, I see any names or any stamps that might um, be indicative of gold or gold plate or silver, silver plate, that kind of thing. Uh, any kind of stones that look like they're real stones, whether or not they're, you know, it's hard to tell with diamonds and things like that, but um, also things that are quartz or things that have like gem and mineral type stones as well. Um, Things that look like they're well made, like those Kendra Scott earrings. I didn't realize they were Kendra Scott when I started out, but I was gravitated towards them because they looked really well made and I don't know how to describe it, but just like polished and well made. Um, another thing I look for are things that are figural because there are people that collect, you know, if I saw a donkey pin, I would grab that up in a second because um, it's one, you don't see it very often, and then there are people that collect different animals. So um, different, you know, like there's that cat pin in that jewelry jar. People have their animal that they like, that they want to have jewelry for. So figural pieces um, like that. And then things that go with um, styles, like something that looks mod or something like those earrings that were checkerboard, kind of like a ska style earring. So things that go with specific styles also, um, I gravitate towards picking up. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful. I do have a ride along with some of this footage that will be included in that coming up uh, probably in the next week or so. So stay tuned because there was a crazy story that went along with some of those other buyers that were there at the Goodwill with me um, looking at the jewelry. It's competitive out there. So watch your fingers and take a step back if you have to. 
<laughs> All right. So thanks so much for watching you guys. Leave me a thumbs up down below and let me know uh, in the comments section what you look for when you're out looking for jewelry. If you have any other tips that you can share with us and check out the comment section guys because frequently there's great tips down there. I learn a lot and there's often very good conversations going on. So take a look down in the comment section and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye.